I hope everyone is doing well. So for today's video, we are going to discuss um, MCP or Model Context Protocol and how we can use it within the context of Copilot Studio. Um, if you don't know, Microsoft has announced multiple first party MCPs. Uh, so we have MCP for um, Dataverse, we have MCP for Dynamics, we have MCP in GitHub. Um, so for today's demo, I want to show you how you can connect your Copilot Studio agent to Dataverse MCP. Um, if you are planning to do this in your production setup, just know that this is still a preview feature. So you might have to wait for a few weeks uh, in order to uh, make sure that this feature is a GA. Um, so let's get started. Um, in order for us to start, there are a few prerequisites that we need to complete in order to connect our Copilot Studio agent to the MCP server for Dataverse. The first step is uh, we would need to go to our PowerShell. Uh, so if you um, type PowerShell um, and then run it as admin, so open the PowerShell console, and then the first thing you need to do is make sure you have the uh, PowerShell module for Power Apps um, installed on your system. The way you can do that is um, you can copy this command. So I'll put this in the description. But if you just type this, um, it should uh, install the Power Apps PowerShell module um, on your system. So in my case, I already have it installed, so it's not doing anything. But you should see um, this getting installed on your system. The next step is for us to create a new environment on your Power Platform tenant. So this feature right now, as of today, uh, only works on a uh, new early release trial environment. Um, and you have to follow these uh, steps in order to create this new environment. So if you just go to Power Platform Admin Center and create a new environment, uh, it, it might not work for you. Um, also, uh, one thing to note is if you already have a trial environment, uh, early release trial environment, this step might fail because you are only allowed one early release trial environment. So just make sure that you don't have a uh, trial environment for early release trial environment on your Power Platform tenant. Okay, so let's create the new environment. So in this case, you can see this is the command we are going to use. Um, the only thing you would change here is the name of the environment. So in my case, I'm calling it Dataverse MCP Demo. You can call it anything you want. Uh, but once you just copy this and paste it here, and this should start creation of new environment. So it's going to prompt you to log in. Make sure you are signing in as admin and then just wait till you see the success message. OK, so here you can see if it's installed correctly, you should see the succeeded uh, message here. Uh, so once you know this, make sure you can copy this entire thing on a notepad just so that we have this information um, available to us. So just open a new notepad and just paste it here. So now that we have this, you can go to Power Platform Admin Center. And if you refresh, you should see the environment here. So you can see that's the new environment we created. And go to Resources, go to Dynamic 365, and make sure you have this app installed. Um, the Microsoft Dynamics 365 Power AI extension. So if this is not installed for some reason, just make sure you install this. You can install this by um, just clicking on Resources M365 and then Install App. Um, if you need an update, make sure you update it before you proceed with the next step. So uh, this is the app we are looking for. So in my case, it's already installed, so we can move to the next step. So now that we have this configured, um, 
we can log into Power Automate and then go to that environment. So in my case, I have to refresh this and then I will go to my new DataWorks MCP demo environment. Make sure you're using the admin account to do all this. So that way you don't run into any issue. Um, so we are going to go to connection and create a new connection for DataWorks. So here I'm clicking on connection and then you can click on create a connection and you want to click on Microsoft DataWorks. You want to keep this as OAuth and click on create. Make sure you choose the right account and you can see we are now connected to DataWorks. So once we have this, uh, let's go to our agent. We'll click on create agent, new agent, and let's call this marketing agent, marketing agent. Oh, so I just made a small mistake here. So I don't want to create it in this environment. I want to be in the new environment that we just created. So I'm going to refresh and make sure you choose the right um, environment. So in my case, that's the one we just created. And this is where I need to create my agent. So I'm going to go click on new agent. And I would skip to configure i'll call this marketing agent let's say you are an agent that helps with marketing events uh, for now i'm just going to use the same for instruction it's good and then i'll click on create so this should create our agent in the new environment here and then I'll just wait for it to complete to make sure we have everything that we need. Okay, so it looks like it's created the agent. Now we go to settings, make sure we have the dynamic orchestration on, um, allow it to connect to other agents, uh, change that to moderate, and we don't want to use the web. So I'm gonna save this. I'm going to close this, go back to tools. And now we want to add a new tool and we are looking for Microsoft Dataverse connector. So in this case, make sure you're choosing this connector. Once you click on it, you should see the Dataverse MCP server. So now we'll click on this and let's see if we can add this. So here you can see now I'm able to add and configure. So I'm going to click on add and configure. Okay, so we have DataWorks MCP server. Uh, I'll say for event marketing. Uh, I'm just going to use a different name in my case. Um, and then if I refresh here under tools, you should see all the tools that are available to you. So you can see it can show list of table, it can describe table, it can create a record, update a record. So these are all the actions that are available with this um, MCP server. So this all looks good. I'm gonna save this. Uh, the next step in order for us to test this is we would need to create a table. So I'm gonna go to my Power Apps so that we can quickly create a custom table. So I'm gonna make sure I'm in the right environment this time. So go to DataWorks MCP environment, and I would click on table. Uh, let's use Copilot to create it. Let's say create, create a table for event registration, registration that captures full name, email, address and phone number for people registered 
add at least three five rows. I'm just going to do that and I will create the table. So you can see here I have the table created. Let's make sure we have the data here. We have full name, email, own number, just so that we have some data to test with. Okay, so we have this table now. You can see uh, we created this event registration table, which has full name, email, and phone numbers, uh, and it's created in the same environment. So now we can go back and start testing. So you can see on this agent that we created, we don't have uh, anything else other than the tool that we added, which is the MCP server. So I can start by asking uh, how many people have signed up for our event. Or uh, I can say how many people have registered for our event. Let's see what it does. Uh, okay, I might have to connect to the server. So this is because I chose the user authentication. You can also use author uh, connection. Let me just make sure I'm connected. Okay, submit. And now we can go back. So let me just refresh. And then I'm going to ask this question again. Let's see if it can connect. So you can see it's connected to the MCB server. Uh, looks like it's not able to find that. Let me ask another question. Give me one second. Okay, let's try it again. So I wanna make sure we are looking at the table here. Okay, so you can see here, it's able to get the information. I think one of the issues uh, we might encounter is uh, because we are dealing with PI information, I might have to tweak the instructions, but you can see it's able to give uh, the information uh, from our database. So if you go and look at David Wilson, that's his number, that's his email, and you can see it's pulling that from, uh, exactly uh, from the data words. So this is how you can connect uh, to any table that you might have in your data words. So in this case, we just have one DataWords MCP tool and it's able to connect and get us all the information. So depending upon um, your instructions, uh, you can force your agent uh, to call the right tool and then the tool will handle searching across your DataWords table and give you the right answers. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I will try to add some more tables and give it a try again. But in the meantime, yeah, if you guys want to try, um, you can use this video. I'll also put um, the link to uh, official Microsoft documentation. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free uh, to leave a comment below and I'll try to answer. Thanks everyone for watching.